Hi, my name is Elena Alonso and I'm the head of the Skyscraper project. I'm here today to teach you how to use the shake table in our exhibition. Here you will test structures of skyscrapers against real earthquake data that you will find in this control uh, screen. We have two screens, one with instructions, one with the control of the shake table. So there are two different kinds of experiments. The one in which you, t you test, you use these pieces and you test inner and outer structures and the one that uses the other pieces I will show you later in which you make your own structure. So, let's show you first how to use the controllers of the shake table. You control the shake table through this computer. Here you can see a collection of earthquake data where you have Parkfield as the strongest earthquake and Denali as the softest one. You see the earthquake motion, how it moves in reality and is the same that how the table will move. Also, you have the earthquake acceleration that comes from the clip next to the shake table. This image comes from the camera, and there it will help you see how the structure moved when it fell. It is, you can see it in slow motion by scrolling this button. We'll build our first kind of structure, the wood base, the white columns, and the walls that are like outside columns. So you put your base, four columns, a second base, and a second floor. You can go as far as three floors, but let's do two for now. Okay, so now you have a building with inner structure. Those are columns. But there are buildings like the World Trade Center that have also a reinforcement of columns outside. To represent that, we use these walls that have magnets. So the idea is that you have to complete, you can try the building with, and, with or without these walls and compare how stable the building is. Great, so now we are going to test this building against the earthquakes. Some people have told me that you can use one piece from the other experiment and works very well. It is called the mass damper, so you are allowed to use it, but it actually belongs to the other experiment. Mass dampers stabilize buildings, so you can try the building without it and then you can try it with it. And you will see that when you try it with the mass damper, it normally stays longer. So let's try it with the Nali, which is the softest one. This one is a long one, where no much happened in the beginning, and then suddenly... Well, it didn't receive even the softest one. <laughs> so once you finish with the experiment, bring the pieces back to the beam. There is a second kind of experiment, where you design your own structure and you test it against earthquakes. For here, you will use the plastic pieces, these red ones and the purple ones, that connect the steel beams. And at the end, you crown the building with this, either these troughs or mass dampers. This de decreases the sway. First, you put these two pieces on the base. This is the base of the building. Then you bring four of these purple pieces that have this white end. Each one of them go in the corners. There are three lengths of beams. For the sides, you will use the middle length. These ones will be the diagonals and the short ones connect to the roof. So let's start with the horizontal ones.
Now let's test the structure. But first, we have to attach this sensor that will show us the acceleration of the structure when it is tested. Very carefully add this to your structure. Very carefully because you can destroy your structure. You can test it with the mass damper or without it. This time I'm doing it without it, but you can add it if you want. So let's try it against Kobe and let's see if it survives. It survives. <laughs> so I made a very successful structure. Now let's try against Park Field. <laughs> no. First thing, put this in back, please. So we don't break it. And now let's clean this mess. That's it.